Hi Pisces, in today's video we're gonna get you a prediction for the rest of the year of 2021 so throughout October till December of 2021. So first we're gonna see in general, then we're gonna see in love more specifically for those who are in a relationship and for those of you that are in the talking phase, then we're gonna see for the singles, then we're gonna look for career slash finances, then we're gonna look for friendships and last but not least we're gonna get you an advice. Also, for those of you interested in ordering a personal reading, you can visit my page on With You as Time Out With Leo, where I have many options of different readings you can purchase. Okay, so let's start. You can watch your sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. Please remember that energy is interchangeable. As I am, and as I am doing the general reading, please remember that it can resonate in any area in your life as there are multiple people watching this. As well, I want you to let to let you guys know that we are in Mercury retrograde currently um, from September 27th till October 17th so if we do see a lot of past energy resurfacing okay it's not surprising but Mercury retrograde or not there's always past energies coming back okay let's see in general of course for Pisces we have the first card is love that's so ironic okay love could be coming your way let's see it's called hidden secrets can harm you maybe you have secret feelings for somebody and it is going to hurt you more if you keep them to yourself see horse filming matters flowers happiness okay i forgot to mention that pretty self-explanatory but if i do see additional messages i'm I will mention them club someone will try to make you do something against your will so this could be in love it doesn't have to be maybe a family member here Kane, pay attention to your health we have arrow you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life so this could be love or it doesn't have to be we have table hard work ahead Okay, this is funny. As soon as I saw the shark card, I heard um the song Baby Shark. The Korean song. Um Shark, take care or right, there will be a loss of material wealth. Desk. Pay attention to your work. Maybe you would want to double check your work, especially if you work in a teamwork with multiple people. Maybe you would want to double check before sending that work. Okay, super random that is, it could be in school or in a workplace okay lobster financial pinch we have crown honor and respect will come to you i feel like maybe by double checking and making sure that everybody's doing their thing you're gonna have you're gonna earn people respect that close up pleasure with a close friend chair filled someone is someone new is entering your life we have bull do not back down from a position show strength and fortitude we have forest modeled unclear thinking regarding someone that make you feel like doubting yourself here cracked cup desired distraction with with life Let's see, we have stuff you will be taken care of in difficult times. Unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. And we have finger, warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. Nest, an emotional, secure, loving family is important to you. February, this is funny because this is literally your month. Or, well, Pisces is February and March, but Torch, Spirit, you could be born in, it could be resonating. There's some messages that could resonate most specifically for a Pisces that in that is born in February here. Torch, Spiritual Development, Enlightenment, Awareness, and Understanding. are going to grow spiritually by the end of the year. Um younger woman dealings or relationship with a younger woman loot disappointment in a friend or a lover okay i heard them <laughs> it brought me back to the song uh, what was the song from luan 
is it called flute? I'm not sure. I will try to remember and list it down below. Let's see what else we see. Okay, okay, the last card. Damn, that's a lot. Let's see. So we have broken wish wound. Wish will not be granted. So maybe there's something you wanted to manifest, but it will not manifest because there's something be way better out there for you. Lion, time to act or you're not in the right mindset. But I feel like more specifically it's because there's something way better out there and that's why you're not manifesting something by the end of the year. Funnel, period of frustration, lessons to be learned. Bouquet, compliments from an admirer, crepes, time to go out and have fun. Not unsuccessful plan plans hand in need of help assistant or guidance so this could be you or someone around you will need your help or will need help mountain major challenge to overcome challenges to overcome both your holly tone of somebody somebody may want to give you flowers or is somebody here maybe somebody that works in a flower shop or something like that is thinking about you okay so now let's see more in general with the tarot. Okay, that was fast. We have the Three of Cups again. You're going to celebrate with your friends. You're going to go out with your friends. There's something, the Two of Wands. You're going to be indecisive whether you want to go out with your friends or not. Or somebody is going to be a friend or somebody here is going to be indecisive when it comes to you here. There's an indecision when it comes to a group of friends. So it could be you or could be someone in the group of friends here. The Sun, you energy, the full Aries energy, the Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Oh my god, this is so funny. This I don't think this ever happened. We have literally the three bar signs in a row. So weird. Never happened before. Okay, but you're going to have a lot of fun here. You're going to take a new leap of faith because whatever it is, this group of friends is going to give you balance. You may feel like it's not the case or you may feel indecisive going out with certain people. But there's going to be a lot of reciprocity here. I heard there's trust. And just have fun here. Yeah, maybe you're going to be restless here for a swords, but I feel... Oh, let's see. <laughs> a little suck. Breaker retrograde is coming in. Okay, for a swords, there's something you're restless about. Some, you're going to wonder truth about something, someone. The page up in the calls, you have your badass being full of life, love, and possibilities. We have the three of ones. You're stuck on something, on someone here. The page of Pentacles does what it has to do and beyond. So I feel like you're going to learn, you're going to manifest, manifest. Or there's somebody, yeah, around you that's going to do what they got to do and beyond. Or maybe this is you and you feel stuck because you feel like somebody is lying to you here the star yeah you're putting your heart and you feel like it's very one-sided so it doesn't have to be in a relationship i feel like it's more so in a teamwork or something like that like in in which your co-worker is or um in a teamwork at school here but like i said it's general so it can resonate in any area in your life but if i do something specific then of course i'm going to mention it but ooh. Somebody here has feelings for you. Somebody wants to marry you or somebody's going to be honest with you that they're married. Maybe because they feel like there is a little bit of um, awkward energy between you or somebody around you that you work with is going to get married. Okay, as I said, that, the thrusters, I never see the thrusters in this day. And if it, it, it kind of fell here. So, yeah, somebody is going to be disappointed. Maybe you felt like you was there was a love a lot of um mutual feelings but this person is going to tell you that they're taken yeah i feel like you're going to cut this person or this person is going to cut deep but they're not trying to okay it's just they're again keep her cold misunderstanding here yeah you saw a future with this person here or this and this person is already taken they're already taken here but i see you moving forward here now onto the love portion. We're gonna see for um, okay in love. We're gonna see for those of you that are in a couple and for those of you that are in talking face. For those of you that are single, 
Uh, and then we're gonna say for the single. For those of you that have a crush, I meant to say, um, feel free to choose whichever one you want, as you know your situation the best. And I do want to say first, if I do see something that has nothing to do with love, I'm still gonna mention them, as there's something someone needs to hear. If it doesn't resonate for you, just let it be. Okay, for my coupled Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus, and semi-couple, what do you see for them for the rest of the year of 2021, throughout October till December of 2021? What do you see for my coupled, semi-coupled? We have the Ace of Cups. Your person is finally gonna... Um, <laughs> tell you how they feel about you if you've been waiting for an apology it's coming but i feel like mostly it's somebody telling you how they feel okay i feel like the words i love you are gonna come out if they haven't yet okay queen of cups somebody here yes somebody is very connected intuitive somebody is very sensitive emotional and they're just gonna pour it all out to our swords but there's somebody here they had to make a decision about someone something here um and by telling you how they felt they feel um they're going to have to let go somebody do here yeah the empress i never saw this card so far oh my gosh i love this energy um taurus virgo libra energy so this person sees a future with you they see you as their future baby mama baby father okay they see a future with you the magician aries energy here they see as somebody very nurturing they see you as the future parent of their chill okay so they know they had to make a decision and they have to let go of someone else okay there's somebody here that's gonna be heartbroken here for some reason gemini energy has i forgot to mention that this person is gonna choose you okay maybe you didn't even know you were a choice or maybe there wasn't even a choice in the beginning but someone some way is going to be heartbroken over your person choosing you okay let's see uh, a new scenario for my coupled, semi-coupled Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus for the rest of the year. So throughout October till December of 2021. What do you see for my coupled slash semi-coupled Leos? Uh, Pisces, sorry. We have the page of cups spice and energy again and art to see offer is coming your way somebody could be apologizing as well we have the knight of pentacles so the knight of pentacles is the slowest seven of pentacles as i say that wow the two patients the most patients card here so somebody is going to take their time to come towards you so this is somebody you that took years to come towards you and or they will take a long time to come towards you yes they're coming towards you but they're going to take their sweet time this is somebody that is not in a hurry they're very patient okay they love to take their time through up and close they love there's somebody that is all about the teamwork here and i feel like maybe you work with this person or this is somebody that is eight of pentacles as i said that oh my gosh so weird that we have and a card comes up and the same card the card that tells right after is a similar has a similar meaning <laughs> to what i'm saying here it's so weird but double confirmation here somebody that is very hard working like actions speak louder than words you're gonna see this person like work for this relationship they're gonna work for you they're gonna do what they gotta do and by yard okay they're not gonna just speak okay their action will speak for themselves okay point blank period okay let's see what else we have going on okay this found the reverse libra justice a uh, justice libra energy here the justice to me is somebody that has feed you things always balance ourselves out the truth will always come out here somebody here hmm Maybe you feel like you're gonna feel like this person is your bad karma, but this person here is your is the the total opposite. We have the world fixed energy, the total Scorpio crescent. We have the three of wands. You're gonna be wanted. You have a lot of um, 
people that want to court you yeah six of the six of cups i mean energy a lot of people want to come back yeah the full aries energy seven of cups you are wanted you're gonna have a lot of offers you're wanted here um but there's going to be an ending here yeah maybe there's a lot of people coming in but you know you're gonna want you're gonna choose this knight of pentacles here you're gonna put an ending to something or maybe this is this person coming towards you that's gonna put an end to something okay to show you that they want you that they want to start something with you eight of wands and eight of swords could be a leo and this is funny because i almost i called you leo by accident and we have two eights here which is august which is leo season and virgo season but yeah eight of wands communication is coming in so this is go, this could be somebody that travels a lot or maybe this is somebody here um that's going to travel towards you this is somebody that will take the extra amount to come towards you here um but maybe this is somebody that overthinks and that could be a little bit insecure or a little bit um um have a hard time believing in themselves here um what else do i see Maybe this person does sage, super random, but um, maybe this person is religious, take it or leave it, but that's what I see now for the singles. And this is somebody where you're they're not gonna leave you unread like there's a lot of communication are they a good communicator don't i wouldn't say that i didn't see that but they're gonna answer you very fast they're gonna text you back very fast they're not gonna ignore you they're not gonna leave you unread okay i do see that but are they best are good communicator and being a good texter and a good communicator are two very different things okay i always say that um let's see for the singles now what do we see for the singles? What do we see for the singles? Pisces, Sun, and Rising, and or Venus for the rest of the year of 2021 throughout October till December of 2021. What do you see for my singles, Pisces? I keep wanting to call you Leo. Do you have Leo in your chart? Because are, are you a Leo that is watching for their Pisces placements? Because I keep hearing Leo it's super weird let's see but okay thank you we have the six of pentacles here you're gonna meet somebody that is very generous very selfless or maybe you're gonna meet this person in a environment where it's about giving to others maybe something they work in a company or something that has to do with donation or they work with something um and in a cause that is about to help about helping people i don't see something specifically here um the wheel mutable energy gemini pisces sagittarius virgo you're gonna you may i feel like you may meet this person outside like they're working outside um they're helping other people they're trying to help whoever they meet outside um maybe you're gonna go to the amusement park with this person or maybe this is there's a place that is very crowded this is where you're gonna meet this person here gender protocols and whoever this person is you're going to end up marrying this person okay or have a strong committed relationship with this person you're gonna have children with this person you're going to live a, a pretty big portion of your life with this person if not the rest of your life okay with this individual here um you're gonna grow old and you're still gonna do things that you used to do when you were younger or whatever the case may be you're gonna be an old couple but you're gonna do things that young couple or very fresh couples do that's how um you're like you're gonna grow old and still be in your honeymoon phase okay like yes let's see another scenario here maybe this is somebody that draws that loves to draw or this is and this is how you're gonna meet them here um take it or leave it now king of wands Let's see what that's about. Three of Wands. 
king of wands here somebody could have a little bit of an ego but they know they want you this is somebody that have a, a hard time admitted to you that they want you and only you okay somebody has too much ego that they're gonna be hurt that they they want you just you and only you okay that you are the only option they could work with you or this is somebody that is willing to work for you to work for you guys this relationship to work for some to have something with you <laughs> but in the process okay their ego is definitely going to be hurt okay not gonna lie not going to lie and they know they cannot stay sit in their throne with their lazy bum okay they know they're gonna have to make an effort to court court you okay point blank period they know they're gonna have to get out there and work for you because you're not gonna stay free forever okay let's see what else we see we get anything else regarding this king of wands anything else regarding this king of wands thank you five of pentacles somebody is gonna be left out in the cold though hmm. five of wands this person is going to you're gonna marry again you're gonna marry this person <laughs> okay you're gonna marry this person i feel like this is this the situation where when you're gonna have kids this person is going to tell their kids you know i wanted i did wanted your mom but i i didn't want to work for it right but i knew that if i didn't <laughs> I would have we wouldn't be here right now like this is the type of story i feel like your person will tell to your children okay so like literally like making lessons like you know if you want someone you're gonna have to do what you gotta do like you're gonna have to work for it okay um no matter how much you hope that you won't have to do anything for it um you're not it's not gonna work okay like that's that's the type of lessons i feel like they're gonna give their children you you guys as children like you're you have to work for what you want okay it doesn't work other way any other way okay but yeah that's pretty much it we're gonna take one more card okay as i say that nine of pentacles and this is funny because usually not a purpose is somebody that is single focusing on their coins but in this one we have a couple okay so yeah this person knows that they cannot act single okay and they're not going to i feel like as well um maybe people are very attracted to your person and they think they're single but they're like no i'm taking I am taken but you're both very independent within the relationship which is very healthy no matter how um much the years go by you're still gonna be very independent um you're both your own person to the point that you seem single it's not in a bad way though it's not that you're cheating on the the other person you're taking your ring off to make you seem like you're single it's just you're so independent that you you may be married but you're so independent that you look single and people still want you because you give that energy of spouse material but you're already taken okay that's the energy you're you are both going to give okay to other people now let's move to career such finances We're gonna take four card for four cards for each placement. Very quick. It's going to be very quick, very brief. Okay, what do you see for my Pisces, Sun and Rising and or Venus for the rest of the year throughout October of twenty twenty one till December of twenty twenty one? What do you see for my Pisces, Sun Moon Rising and or Venus? in their career for their career what do you see for them for their career ace of cups what do you see for them for their career what do you see for my pisces sun moon rising and we have the sun uh the full you energy and sagittarius energy as well uh 
Thank you. We have the Three of Pentacles. Give me one more card for their career, career for the rest of the year of 2021. What do you see for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus? What do you see for them? Give me one more card for their career for the rest of the year of 2021. Throughout October of 2021 till December of 2021. Please give me one more. Thank you. We have the Judgment card. Gemini energy. Okay. So, in your workplace, you're going to receive an offer. Very sincere offer. Very heartfelt offer from... Uh, maybe you're going to... A business a company is going to want to hire you. Or maybe you're finally going to be hired in the place that you, uh, you've postulated to. You wanted to be hired. Okay. Or um, if you did want to that, an apology may be coming in from someone. It could have been an old co-worker. You've wanted an apology. You know you deserve an apology from a specific someone in the workplace. It's coming in, okay? Um, it doesn't have to be somebody you currently work with. Um, it's going to it's gonna resonate differently for different people. The full, there's going to be a new leap of it. So, again, there's a new offer coming in. And you, I feel like you're going to take it. You are going to take it. Okay. Um, through a pentacles, you're gonna work with people, or you're gonna learn to work with others, or you're gonna work, you're gonna learn to, you're gonna meet, you're gonna be in a new environment, or in an environment where, um, there's a lot of teamwork, okay, your co-workers, you're working together, it's like, no, like, well, I don't like this bitch, I don't like this guy, like, no, like, everybody's gonna work together as if you were in a team project at school, and college like everybody's gonna do their fair part of share because you're here to work to make money okay y'all not here for the drama it's not it's not um middle school no more okay even at school it's super fucking petty and childish still <laughs> okay and you know age is just a number because even in college you would find some drama shit okay let's be honest like there is no age for that shit even like that's so still immature like no matter what age you get here, but you get the point. <laughs> I'm rambling here. But judgment. Somebody from the past may come back in your workplace. So maybe not necessarily as a co-worker, but could be as a client, okay? Um, you're definitely with some, hey, some way, somehow going to meet a past person in your workplace. So as a co-worker or as a client. So now let's see for your finances. You have nine of cups. Nine of swords. There's a lot of nines. Six of cups, Gemini energy. And one more card for my Pisces when it comes to their finances for the rest of the year. Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Let's see. One more card. One more card. Okay, we got two seven of wands and eight of swords. So, okay, nine of cups. I feel like you're gonna meet somebody that that's going to make you feel whole. But maybe meeting somebody new here doesn't have to be in love necessarily. Um, it's gonna make you realize that overthink make you overthink a lot about your financial decisions here um hmm. we are going to reminisce about the whole time when you used to very much um spend your money in a bad way and you're going to realize that you need to get rid of bad habits or people around you that make you make <laughs> Uh, make you take bad decision when it, financial decisions here you're gonna feel overwhelmed by um, maybe you're not necessarily going to do that but the universe may do that for you and you're going to feel either way very very overwhelmed um because you're gonna realize like whoa like my financial is my financial um how i spend my money how i deal with my money what i do with my money is very bad it's very unhealthy and there's a need of you to get rid of not only bad habits but people around you that are toxic and that are not helping you making their best of decisions not necessarily just financial it's not just an issue about financial but like people you're not surrounding yourself um with the best of people and you're gonna realize that through your finances 
okay through meeting somebody new as well um maybe it could be a past person or maybe you're gonna reminisce about the past about your very you you had used to you may have used to had have had um very very worst decisions when it came to your finance and you you don't want to go back there so you're gonna feel very overwhelmed you feel like oh my gosh i need to stop i need to cut my spendings i need to cut on certain things because it's not gonna end <laughs> well okay but um everything will be fine everything will be fine okay whoever this new person is is going to help you out okay and now let's see for friendships. You can ask about a current friend or past friend or if you should be friends with somebody new. If there's no message resonating for you, there's just nothing for you to hear when it comes to a friendship and that is totally okay. And remember, you're going to watch for Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords, the King of Swords, the Full Aries Energy. So there's a lot of somebody, a friendship, you overthink a lot about this friendship. And you're going to realize you're going to end up cutting this person. Or maybe this person is going to end up blocking you, ghosting you. You're going to go you're gonna go Zen. But matter of fact, you're going to take a new leap of faith and just start all over this chapter, a new chapter without this person. Because this person makes you overthink a lot. You're anxious around them. How you feel around someone says a lot more than any words good okay watch how you feel i feel like you're very anxious or you overthink everything you do around this person you feel like you're always doing something wrong well something whether it's you or not this thing this person is going to be cut out in your life because it's for your highest good and i don't feel like you're gonna have too much pain because i feel like at the end of the day you're gonna realize that whoa I feel way much happier. I feel way way less stressed, way less anxious, way less mad, unhappy without this person. And so you're gonna move on. Um, as the moving on phase is going to be less painful than you think it is because you're gonna realize like, whoa, I feel weird. Like, why do I feel happier without this person? That's the universe showing you with your emotions that you made the right decision and that this person overall was toxic for you and it was no good for you let's see what else we have going on in a friendship another scenario okay i take i, I didn't mention that but i take three cards per scenario so let's see another scenario the seven of pentacles the four of pentacles the world fixed energy of the scorpio aquarius so this could be an air sign that you're cutting in your life libra gemini aquarius or uh, aries for these, I see an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and a fixed sign, most specifically a Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius. So, again, there's a new ending. This is interesting because now that we had a new beginning, and now it it's an ending here. So maybe you're gonna be patient, but you were patient with a friend here, or a friend were patient with you. Remember that energy is interchangeable. So if I say it's you and it's not you, then it is the other person. You are very patient with this person, right? But this person over time never opened up. They're very stingy. They're very closed up. They're very close minded. So there's going to be an ending um, on this friendship because what's the point in a friendship or in any connection if they're not trying to open up? <laughs> Um, into the connection invest in the connection um, it's not even just cheap by not wanting to spend money on you or on go by going out with you it's being cheap by not giving you their time and energy even okay another ending here let's see what another scenario here for friendship thank you we have the sun leo energy the four of cups and the king of pentacles so somebody here that could be less mature than you a little bit younger than you um is going to make you an offer a very sincere offer a very heartfelt offer here um because they realize that you're hurt here somebody is gonna want to defend you like this is somebody that like they're gonna they're gonna defend you like they don't even knew they're gonna see that you're hurt and they're gonna defend you like out of nowhere here 
this may be somebody that you don't want to know anything about um and you haven't met in years seen in years or this is somebody that took their a long time to come towards you whether you know them or not um what was i going to say the year um, to me, somebody, as long as you work hard for what it has, that's all that it needs to know. If anything, um, people may look at the King of Pentacles and feel like it's bragging. But if anything, that's because people are jealous or feisty. If anything, the King of Pentacles rather spend money on others and then on themselves. So you're going to meet somebody that is very selfless. And this person, like, is very, is going to be very defensive for you. Because this is somebody, like, somebody could try to pumps your brave somebody could try to piss you off like it's not bothering you not because like um you have no feelings or insensitive like no like you just don't care <laughs> to give this person to pay this person to give your this person your time and energy and this person whoever this friend is like they're gonna get mad for you somebody's gonna look the wrong way at you somebody's gonna look you Nobody should try to do anything around you because this person is going to be defensive as heck. Like, this person is going to act like a brother. They're going to act like a sibling. Like, this person, like, doesn't play at all. There's something that, you know, somebody may just have a look at you one second and you you didn't take too much over it and this person may feel it's this person could tell you no 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 Pisces this person look look you the wrong way like they're judging you like there's something that they're judging you they know you from somewhere I don't know from where but this person is not trustworthy <laughs> I don't like this person because of the way they looked at you and I don't feel like it's love like romantic love like they just love you that much like that's much that's how much of a friend they are like this is somebody that is very fucking loyal if you could say so okay but this is somebody nonetheless they're gonna have fun like this is somebody that makes you feel like a child over again or that's how they feel around you or maybe this is a child or friend or this is a friend where you're gonna feel like you know them since you're children okay another scenario three of wands knight of swords gemini energy and a devil capricorn energy okay this is funny because the knight of swords is not a sign i was going to say um air signs um gemini requires libra but i said gemini so could resonate for somebody out there <sighs> a gemini could be toxic here okay but the two of us to me somebody that is that could be stuck period or that could be stuck on someone from the past or somebody that hasn't moved on from you is coming towards you but they're toxic like they i feel like this is somebody that was already in your life um and it was a toxic relationship. I don't know what you guys had before, but it was definitely toxic. It doesn't have to be, oh, you were friends with them. Um, it could be a lover, and now they're gonna come as to you as a friend. Okay, it resonates differently for different people. But whoever this person is, and whatever you had, um, they're gonna charge it in because they haven't moved on from you. But they're definitely toxic. And if that's not the case, if you do not resonate with, okay, what the fuck was toxic to me? Um, or what the fuck with that maybe um they could be in a toxic relationship right now but i definitely feel like the first scenario like they're coming ahead of you and they're we're in a toxic relationship and it's still gonna stay toxic because um i almost wanted to say single so maybe that's not the that's not the right this um scenario that i saw maybe they're they're not seeing anybody they're not in a toxic relationship take care of it but they're still gonna stay toxic because they haven't fixed whatever they were supposed to fix or whatever the red flags or the issue they had in a past relationship with you they're still there they're still there and they haven't moved on from you and they're coming ahead but with the same issues so therefore it's going to be the same situation all over again with this person and this could be them that is toxic and they're not realizing that or they just don't give a fuck <laughs> either or okay there's no going around that honestly so now we're gonna get you an advice what advice you have for my pisces sun moon rising and our venus for the rest of the year of 2021 so throughout october of 2021 and december of 2021 what it is that they need to hear right now what it's in general in any yet or in any other area in their life what it is that my pisces sun moon rising and our venus needs to hear right now or for the rest of the year of 2021 we had the six of swords that jumped, that or jumped, that flipped, though there were three other cards, I don't know which one they were. <sighs> somebody, um, Gemini Energy, somebody, again, Gemini Energy, somebody from the past that then moved on from you, a past friend, 
a past lover here, a past toxic friend, a past toxic lover. I still haven't moved on from you, but they're still coming with the same scars. Okay. Just saying. Let's see. What advice do my Pisces, some rising and Venus need to hear right now? What it is that they need to hear right now or for the rest of the year of 2021? I want to take a jumper, so it may take some time. Give me an advice for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the rest of the year. Thank you. The strength card, Leo energy. Again, there's something strong with Leo. I feel like you have Leo in your chart. This is so weird. Double, triple confirmation here. We got it. I mistakenly called you Leo multiple times. And I saw Leo energy multiple times as well. And what advice card? We have Leo. So I feel like you have that in your chart. Or there's a Leo energy, a strong Leo energy around you here. But let's read it. Courage, calmness, quiet strength, influence, graceful leadership, gifted healer, purity of thoughts and heart, spiritual matters, compassion, sometimes lust or animal instinct. Be brave, Sitsuir. Embody your inner light and shine your courageously in the face of danger and uncert or uncertainty. Step into patience and fierce and serenity as you exert your graceful experience for the greater good. There, are, there is great fortitude in your calm heart, and a gentle demeanor will not be mistaken for weakness when you share your gift of relentless love with the world. Relentless, relentless love with the world. Allow confidence and composure to guide you towards your desires without the use of excessive force or aggression mindful awareness will be much more useful than rigid control right now this card reminds you to stand strong in your beliefs and desires and to remain steady, steady, steady as you bring compassion to your current situation you are powerful and your purity of heart will be a beacon of strength and inspiration to those around you and the quote for this card is I deliberately bring my compassion and strength forward and I use them for good. Okay, but yeah, that's it. That's what I say for Pisces. I hope this was insightful for you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.